Thank you, Vivian. Thanks, everyone, for being here. Uh, Tammy Mann, are you on the phone? I am. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Um, I'm so happy to be here and be here with this wonderful panel. I'd like to welcome the panel. They're going to be sharing with us perspectives from practitioners who are providing parenting supports. The panelists are going to be giving us their thoughts on how parents and families use supports and services out there across various organizations to meet the diverse needs of families, how policies and programs that impact families may affect practices and families who are hard to reach, about how the trajectory of policies and programs in the near future and possible implications for families how the essence of our report could affect the work that's going, out, going on out there in the field, the kinds of lessons that will be important for them that could be drawn from the work of this committee. I'm very excited uh, to be able to introduce this panel. Each member of the panel will have five minutes to give their reflections on some of the questions that we pose to them. They'll draw on their experiences and their observations from working with parents. As the moderator and committee member, I'll take an opportunity to follow up on some of the remarks that they make. Um, and we'll have about 30 minutes after that to open up the floor to the committee and also to those of you in the audience. If there's any uh, time after that, we'll open it up uh, for folks to ask questions uh, for a little bit longer as well. So I have the great pleasure to introduce uh, the folks that are here with us today. Uh, by WebEx, we have Tammy Mann. She's worked across research, practice, and policy settings to improve outcomes for young children and families for about 25 years now. Um, I'm happy to say I've known her for about 20 of them. She currently serves as president and CEO of the Campania Center in Alexandria, Virginia. The Campania Center offers cradle to career services, reaching over 2,000 ethnically diverse children and adults in Alexandria, Virginia. Prior to joining the center, Dr. Mann held senior executive positions at Zero to Three and other national organizations. She currently serves as an at-large member on the governing board of the National Association for the Education of Young Children and as an affiliate associate professor appointment at George Mason University in the College of Education and Human Development. She served as a public policy fellow at the American Psychological Association. She has her uh, bachelor's degree from Spelman College, master's degree and doctorate in clinical psychology with a specialization in infant studies from Michigan State University. I'm very happy to, uh, uh, to introduce Alice Mastriani. She directs the Children and Families Commission of Orange County's Healthy Children Goal Area, which includes <coughs> the Bridges Maternal Child Health Network and Pediatric Health Services. She conducts policy research and analysis to enhance local decision making. Alice's professional experience covers human service policy analysis, collaborative planning and program design and quality management. Formerly, she was strategic plan project manager for the County of Orange, CEO, and held several management positions at the County of Orange Healthcare Agency. She holds a Master of Public Administration from California State University, Long Beach, and a BS in Community Health Education from California State University, Northridge. And let me just say that last week, she didn't know she was gonna be here today. So thank you very, very much for filling in, Alice. Very happy also to, uh, to welcome Al Cooley. He's the founder of the Native African American Fatherhood and Families Association. That's an organization that provides programs to strengthen Native American families through responsible fatherhood and motherhood. NAFA's Fatherhood is Sacred and Motherhood is Sacred programs offer participants the opportunity to gain deeper understanding of the importance of responsible fatherhood and motherhood and co-parenting as reflected in Native American values and beliefs. NAFA's fatherhood work is based on the fact that there's an immediate need to bring Native American men back to strengthening families as they are a significant untapped resource for addressing the problems that face Native communities and must take a leading role in keeping families together. Mr. Pooley has extensive experience as a marriage and family counselor and holds degrees in social work and public administration. He appreciates the role of being a father and finds joy in teaching principles that are relevant to his Native American culture. I'm also happy to welcome Charles Avia. He's executive director of Yes to Kids and founder of Menfolk, 
a father male support group in the Antelope Valley region of California. He, that organization works with men to become more positive role models in their homes. And in the past seven years of his community work, he's joined forces with Palmdale Head Start, the Antelope Valley Child Abuse Prevention Council, and Partnership for Families. He's worked to develop and deliver Play and Learn, a group of structured activities for parents. He's also helped play, helped to deliver the Parent Partner Program, which includes parent cafes, bringing parents together to discuss issues to them that are important to them, and he's found that resonate with parents because they're parent-led. So again, we have quite a resource here, and we'll ask each of them to take five minutes to speak to us about their perspectives on parents. Thank you so much. Tammy, uh, let's start off with you. <laughs> 